Hello, my most amazing art students. So today we're going to be creating um, a stable. So you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and a ruler and a pair of scissors. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is fold our piece of paper in half. You want to match up the corners. Sometimes um, this is tricky, but I like to match up my corners then push down in the middle and then out to the side and that usually works out pretty well okay so after that um, the fold is going to be on this side this is where it opens I'm going to take my ruler and draw line it up with the edge and then draw a line down all the way so I don't want to go I don't want to cut to the edge I want all my lines that I um, create to be you know what let me go ahead and get um, black crayon so you guys can see or maybe a sharpie where's my sharpie there it is okay um, that way you can see so I drew a line here but um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create different stepped levels um, to be able to cut on. So we're going to be drawing lines. So from the line you drew with your ruler, you can just start drawing lines all the way down. And we're going to cr create them all in an arch, leaving enough space Ooh, we're going to go down. Okay. And then maybe we're just going to do a plain arch. And then this one is just going to be wiggly. So now four lines. Now you're going to take your scissors and cut on each of those lines. Actually, stop, hesitate, and listen. Before we cut, um, we're going to create designs on our um, legs. Okay. And you guys can color whatever colors you want on there. Just come up with your own designs, but you want to have different patterns or designs or fun things. Um, I think I, I'm going to do nice big circles on this one. All the way down, and then I'm going to put another circle in the center. There we go. And then one more. Last but not least. Um, let me just color that one in. So. Now we can go ahead and cut this out. Remember your thumb always goes on the top part of the scissor. Like so. And on only on this one and the bottom one are we going to use that ruler line and cut down and these go off to the side and here's what we have so far so we're going to follow this line up and then over up over up over up over next just this arch line, easy peasy. Only we're only cutting to that line we drew with the ruler. Okay. 
and then over to here. But we need to cut. Um, do we need to cut? Yes. No, we're going to fold. Sorry, we're not. The only part we cut off was that top part. Okay. So now what we're going to do is um, if you want to turn this over now that we can see um, where our lines are and we can decorate this side if you guys want to um, before we start folding, you can do that. Um, if you just want the one side decorated, that's fine too. I'm just going to add a little bit more color because I love color. What did I do on this? Oh, I did vertical pink lines. I just, it's a little bit harder once you cut. Um, but now I can see where those go. And then the last one was, should I kept my crayons out, was the big circles. And maybe I won't be exactly the same, but that's okay. All right. Yeah. But at least there's color on there. Okay. And there's that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this um, back on that on that ruler line. Okay. And. Um, and then this one, we're going to open this up. And then this next one, so this one folded this way, towards that way. This next one's going to fold in, into the middle fold. Then this one is going to fold out. I'm going to use my fingernail to kind of score that. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it back and it's going to fold in this last one. Okay, so now we see I have out, in, out. Let me finish. This one's not folded quite how I want it to be. It, wants, it doesn't want to fold on that line. There we are. There we are. Okay. So... Now, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold opposite. We folded this one out, so we're going to fold this one in. Okay? And then this one's going to get folded out. And then this one's going to get folded into the center crease. And then this one's going to get folded out. So when we go to stand it up, we have all these different angles of legs or things that hold up our stable, stable, just like that. So it's a cool decoration. And if you wanted to, you guys could color in the center there and do a decoration along the middle. It's up to you. But out in out in and then it stands on its own so just like that all just like um alexander calder's mobiles mobiles sorry this is a stable not a mobile um because it doesn't swing in the air and move with the wind it's supposed to stay stationary okay by itself you guys thanks for joining me have a wonderful day